In today's YouTube video, guys, we're going to go over the top five best class ups to use here in Modern Warfare 3 Season 1. Now, with these builds, I do guarantee you're going to see more kills getting dropped. You're going to see your KD improve. And also, if you're trying to get your first MGB nuke, these classes will help you. So if you guys are new here and find this video to help, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel with new design, and let's get into it. If you guys need help maxing out your guns or your levels per season, maybe you need help getting the interstellar camo unlocked or anything zombie related. If you want promo skins, the super rare ones, make sure to check out Damn Mod. They're fast, reliable, and super cheap. As you guys see here in the Trust Pilot, they're super trusted. Make sure you use my code Paradox for 10% off. Make sure to check out the description. Now jumping into our first weapon guys we have the DG56 assault rifle now this is a three round burst weapon it's really good and I think it's one of the best weapons in the game currently here in the meta that we have here in Modern Warfare 3. Now for this build what we're starting off with our first attachment guys is going to be the optic here and we're going to go with the slate reflector now I feel like the slate reflector is one of the best optics that you can run here but when it comes to optics when I tell you guys in my class setups there's so many good choices and I'm sure everyone has their go-to optic so go ahead and throw it on here for me it is going to be the slate reflector now for our second attachment here guys we're going to the barrel and we're going to be adding on the t25 light barrel now i do like using this a lot just because we're getting a lot of effective damage range and our minimum damage range is going up by 20 percent so our bullets are stronger they're traveling further giving us a faster time to kill which is really good and we're also getting a 10 and a half increase in our bull velocity as well so our bullets are traveling much faster really good attachment here it makes it very broken the DG56, so we are going to be adding this on for our second attachment here. Now, for our next attachment, we're going to jump down to the underbarrel here and add on the FTAC MSP98 hand stop grip. A really solid attachment here. We're getting some movement speed. We're getting some aim walking movement speed and also some vertical recoil control and gun kick control. Now, this is a really good attachment just because we're working on basically everything. We're moving faster around the map. We're getting some more engagements, getting those high kill games. We're moving faster while aimed down sight. So if it's just in general or left, strafing left to right, and also we're making the weapon more calm, really easy to control with the vertical vertical recoil control and that gun kick control really awesome so we're gonna be adding this on as well now we're gonna go to the ammunition type here and add on the high grain rounds pulling up the stats again we're getting a 15 percent increase in our effective damage range our minimum damage range so again our bullets are way more stronger giving us an even faster time to kill which is really nice and also a 15 percent increase in our bull velocity so our bullets are traveling much faster lightning quick to hit our targets making this build very broken and then going into our final attachment guys we're gonna go to the magazine and add on the 40 round mag i feel like with this weapon you can shoot the weapon really quick so you're gonna fly through ammunition you don't want to reload every time you get a kill or two so we are going to be adding on the 40 round mag for our final attachment and here is the full build now for our next weapon guys we have the mcw aka the acr this weapon is really good we all know that and it 100 deserves a spot on today's video now for my build it's a little different from what i have uploaded in the past but for our first attachment guys we are going to the stock and adding on the rb regal heavy stock a really good attachment here we bring up the stats we're getting a lot of recoil control a 16.6 .6 increase in our vertical recoil control, a 16.9% in our horizontal recoil, and we're also getting a 23.7 increase in our gun kick control. A lot's going on here. The weapon's going to be very smooth, really accurate, and that's what we want for our MCW build here. Now, for our next attachment, guys, we're going to jump over here to the barrel, and we're going to be adding on the Cyclone Long Barrel. Now, again, this is what pro players are using for their MCW builds. We bring up our stat sheets. We're getting a lot of bull velocity of minimum damage range and effective damage range at 21.3% for our damage range. And we're also getting a 25.5% in our bull velocity. So our bullets are hitting really fast, hitting our targets really quick, and we're also our bullets are hitting hard. So we have a faster time to kill now. Really good for this barrel on the MCW. So make sure to throw it on as well now for the muzzle we are going to be adding on the spitfire suppressor now again we're going to bring up our stats here we're getting some horizontal recoil control some vertical recoil control more damage range and some bull velocity as you guys see here on screen i do think this is the best suppressor in the game although it is hurting the handling just a little bit the mcw doesn't have bad handling at all it's still really good even though if you even on purposely are trying to hurt the handling it's just so good still and especially with this build we're going to just have a fast time to kill make this build really nice so we are going to be adding on the suppressor for our third attachment here 
Now for the under barrel, again, we're going to be adding on the MSP 98 handstop grip. Such a great attachment here. I do like using it a lot. We're just getting some movement speed here. We're getting some recoil control, making the weapon more smooth, really easy to control at those longer ranges. And we're also moving fast in general since our movement speed is up. And then for our final attachment, guys, we are going to the magazine. And we're going to turn this thing into an LMG and add on that 60 round drum. We never have to reload. The fast time to kill is good on this. And, you know, just having a tank of a weapon. You're never going to have to reload. You're always going to be running, gunning, never having to slow down and reload. And you guys are going to like the build. And again, here is the full loadout for the MCW. Now for our next weapon, guys, we have the Pulmiat 762 LMG here in Modern Warfare 3. Now, like I was talking about in my Tack Eradicator video, I think LMGs are in a really good spot here in this game. And the Pulmiat is a really, really good weapon. I think it might be a top three weapon as of right now here in this game. But for my build, though, we're going to work on making it more aggressive so we can have that run a gun type of play style with this lmg and then for our first attachment guys i think personally the annihilator bull pump kit needs to go on here i'll bring up the stats real quick we're getting some fire rate we're getting some accuracy some recoil control mobility and handling lots going on here which is really good making us more aggressive here now, for our second attachment, guys, we are going to be adding an optic on, which I like to go with the Slate Reflector, a very clean sight. I know what, everyone has their favorite optic to run if it's for Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2 optics. If you don't know what to run, though, the Slate Reflector is a really good choice, and that's what I'm going to be adding on here. Now, for my next attachment, guys, we're going to jump over here to the barrel and add on the only choice that we have here, which is the Annihilator Long Barrel. We're going to get some more bull velocity and range, so we have a better effective damage range and minimum damage range of 34%. And we're also getting some bull velocity of 17.9, basically 18%. So our bullets are traveling much faster. They're hitting harder, giving us a faster time to kill, which is really nice for the LMG. So make sure to have this on as well. Now, for the muzzle, we are going to be adding on a Modern Warfare 2 attachment. It's super broken on this weapon, I think so. So, what we're going to be doing over here is we're going to be adding on the Tempest GH50. Now, I bring this up. We're getting a 27% increase in our gun kick control. We're getting a 10% in our horizontal recoil control. And we're getting a 27% increase in our vertical recoil control. So, we're getting a lot of control here for our weapon. It is going to hurt the aim down sight speed a little bit. But since we have the conversion kit on, you're not going to notice. It doesn't hurt the weapon at all and this is a really really good attachment to have on and then for the final attachment guys we are going to the under barrel and again we're going to add some a little bit more recoil control to this weapon and we're going to be adding on the best vertical grip that we have here and that is the bruin pivot grip so we are getting more recoil control we're getting some firing aiming stability making this weapon very steady really easy to control and again here is the full build for the Pulmiat 762 here in Modern Warfare 3. Now for our next weapon, guys, we have the AMR9 SMG, our first one on today's list. And I feel like this weapon is super, super underrated. You know, right now, currently in the SMG meta here in Modern Warfare 3, you see Rival 9s, you're seeing the Swarm currently, and also the Striker. You're really not seeing anything else, but the AMR9, I have to say personally, it is better than those three SMGs. But for my class, it up me starting off with our first attachment, guys, I think it's important here. And that's the Magazine and we're going to be adding on the 50 round drum. Now with this weapon having a fast fire rate, we need this weapon to have a larger mag on. I don't want to have to reload every time I get a kill or two. It's super annoying to go against that. You know, COD timing, it hits me all the time. I'm sure it hits you, but also I don't want to have to slow down and reload all the time. So the 50 round drum is going to be on for our first attachment here for our class it up. Now, for our next attachment, guys, we're going to jump over here to the under barrel, and what we're going to be adding on here is going to be the FTAC MSP 98 handstop grip once again here. We're getting some more aim walking movement speed. We're getting some movement speed, so we're getting into more gun fights, getting in more engagements and everything, just moving fast, and we're also getting some gun kick control and some vertical recoil control, making this weapon very smooth, very accurate, and I think it's a must-have here for the AMR-9. Now, for the muzzle, we're going to be adding on another Modern Warfare 2 attachment. I've been using them here lately, and they're pretty nice. And what we're going to be adding on here, guys, is going to be the Bruin Pendulum. Now, if I bring this up here, we're getting a 22.7 increase in our vertical recoil control, a 22.6% in our gun kick control, and a 13% increase in our horizontal recoil control. This attachment helps out so much. I'm not even kidding, especially on SMGs. The Bruin Pendulum was one of the best in Modern Warfare 2, and it still holds its ground here in Modern Warfare 3 and that's why we're going to be adding it on here 
Now we're going to jump over here to the optic. I am not a fan whatsoever of the optics. And again, we are going to be adding on the slate reflector, my go-to optic here in Modern Warfare 3. But like I said, there's so many good choices here in Modern Warfare 2 optics and Modern Warfare 3 optics. But again, the slate reflector is going on. And then for my final attachment, guys, what we're going to be doing is going down to the rear grip. And what we're going to be adding on is the SAC and ZX grip. Now, the only reason I'm not using a stock, just because if I try to add on some recoil control, I'm losing some handling. And what we're going to do for the rear grip is we're only losing some accuracy, which is okay. It's only aiming idle sway. But we are getting some firing aiming stability, very important, and some gun kick control and some recoil control. And here is the full build for the AMR9 SMG. Now, for our next and final weapon in today's video, guys, we have the DM56 Marksman Rifle. Now, before Season 2, all I can say, I know we have like 40-some days left until then. There is going to be a Marksman Rifle meta here in Modern Warfare 3. It's already starting in Warzone. This weapon right here is super broken in pubs right now. And I'm going to give you the best class setup before the meta starts here in the game. And for this class setup, guys, we are going to the Optic and adding on the Slate Reflector. My go-to choice is the best one. You're not getting as much visual recoil compared to the other ones. This is why it's my go-to. So I'm going to be throwing this on for our first attachment here. Now for the barrel, we are going to be adding on the Prime Lord Heavy Barrel. We bring up our stats. We're getting a 25% increase in our effective and minimum damage range. And we're getting a 30% increase in our bull velocity, making this weapon super nice at any range. Our bullets are traveling lightning quick, hitting our targets harder, giving us a fast time to kill, which is really nice here. Now jumping down to our next attachment, guys, we're going to be adding on a muzzle, which we're going to be adding on the Spitfire Suppressor. Like I said about the MCW build, the Spitfire Suppressor, in my opinion, is the best suppressor suppressor you're getting damage range bull velocity we're not showing up on the mini map and we're also getting some recoil control here are all these stat sheets we're getting a five percent increase in our effective and minimum damage range and we're also getting some more bull velocity and also we're getting some horizontal and vertical recoil control just making this weapon better at longer ranges for a faster time they kill now for the under barrel we are going to be adding on the edge bw4 hand stop grip this is going to also help with just some mobility and handling bring this up as you guys see here we're getting some more movement speed some crouch movement speed some aim down movement speed which is really good some aim down sight speed and sprint the fire speed just helping us be more aggressive move fast around the map getting some more engagements and everything which is very helpful and then for my final attachment guys we are going to be adding on the 30 round mag so we're not reloading all the time because i believe the base magazine size is only 20 and i think 30 is just plenty and we're also getting a little bit more magazine size so we're not always reloading but here is the full build for that also but guys those are my top five builds right now for modern warfare 3 season one these are some of the best builds so let me know if you try any of these builds what was your highest kill game and also let me know if you try all of them let me know what your favorite build is out of all these five but guys thank you so much for watching and again if any of these builds helped you let me know in the comment section and i'll see you all in the next one